Hello, welcome to this channel. My name is Janet. I'm working through the King James Bible. Today I'm in the first book of Kings, working through chapters 6 and 7. So it's going to be a short video today because these chapters are mainly about building. So get ready because we're going to start soon. <laughs> So the first king that we are working with in this book is King Solomon. He is the king that took over from David, his father, and he started with a bang. He really, you know, enforced all of the things his father had told him, you know, which guys were the ones that had done evil. He made sure they were sorted, justice was brought forth. And now he's building a temple to the Lord. We started that in chapter 5. So it's carrying on from there. So chapter six is the building of the temple for God. Now this is a structure that is gonna take some time. It's not gonna come overnight. We learn that this is Solomon's fourth year of reigning over the people of Israel. And this is when he begins building God's temple. Now just to note, it has been 480 years since the Israelites had left Egypt. And if you've watched all of the videos I've done previously, you will see the journey that the Israelites have been on. We have gone through many, many different changes. So as we continue in this chapter, we are building similar to the tabernacle, which was a tent that was movable for the Lord to stay. Now we're building a structure of cedar wood with gold and bronze. It's very similar to what the tabernacle looked like, but this is more solid. And there is a structure actually going around the temple itself with three different chambers. So this chapter really goes into the detail of how it was built. I'm not going to go into the intricate details. If you want to learn exactly what they are, then check out the link under this video for chapter six. So the temple itself was 60 cubics in length. The width of it was 20 inches and the height of it was 30 inches. Now there were narrow windows put up a height in this one. We didn't have that in the tabernacle. This one we've got windows right at the top so they'll be letting light in. The inner part is all gold and on the walls they have carved open flowers, cherubins and palm trees. Now the structure itself is made of cedar wood which is very rich material along with gold, bronze and silver. So I'm a visual person so I like to see what things look like. So here is a just an idea of what it looks like there. You can see the temple itself. You can see outside all of the bronze. We've got the bowl, we've got the burnt offerings area, and inside you can see that golden temple. And the Lord's altar is at the front. This is one to show you really close inside so you can get a better... See the cherubims there at the back and you can see the Ark of the Covenant right in between them. You've got to go up some steps there. And there is a door made out of wood covered in gold on either side, which, you know, keeps that area closed off. Because obviously that is a sacred area. And remember, only the priests are allowed in there, nobody else. Now, the Lord told Solomon that if he keeps his laws, his statutes, his commandments, that he will keep the promise like he did with his father, David. You know, that he will take care of him, that he will be blessed and that he will not abandon his people of Israel. So we end this chapter with the knowingness that Solomon built the temple and it took seven years to build. So it was a mighty structure. Now in chapter seven, we're getting more into the inner part of the temple, what, how everything was built inside, because there is a lot of details. Yes, the construction itself took seven years, but now we've got the inner part to finish. So now in chapter seven, we go also from the temple to Solomon's palace, you know, his kingdom really, he is starting to build himself a kingdom. So what does that include? Well, it includes his palace and he also built a palace for his wife who was Pharaoh's daughter. And that was where she stayed along with his other wives. He has a hall of justice built and a throne made out of Caesar wood. Now it took many years to build this palace, this kingdom, and he had all the bronze items that were crafted for the temple by the king of Hurin. He was from Tyre and he is an expert craftsman. So he was the one who designed 10 movable bronze stands inside of his palace, also pillars. He did the panels and there were bulls on there and lions and cherubims on them as well. Herman also made 
the basins, the pots, shovels and bowls for God's temple, and they're all made out of bronze as well. Then the gold items, the things that were made out of gold was the gold altar, the table for the burnt offerings, the lampstands, the floral work, and the basins and the dishes and the censers. And then once all of these things were made and it was all sorted inside that temple, then King Solomon brings in what his father had dedicated to the Lord. And these were made out of gold and silver and he put those in the temple, in the temple's treasuries. And that closes our chapter 7 for today. So really these two chapters is about building the kingdom, building that magnificent temple for the Lord and really making a stand that King Solomon is present in the city of David. It's very grand and it's a kingdom fit for King Solomon. So this closes our two chapters for today and I'll be back again tomorrow with more in the book of Kings. See you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Thank you.